okay. Um, it's been a lot of years since then. It's hard to argue with that. Uh, but I would also say at this point, uh, maybe there should have been a redesign. It's hard to say. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Looking back on this. But the fact that these two are so almost identical to each other, the conclusions they came back with in 1979 was a couple of things. One is they made some cosmetic changes, corrosion and so forth, treatment of those mounting points. The other was how they took the wing on, put the wing on, and, or excuse me, the engine on and off of the wing. Uh, they wouldn't allow the uh, airlines to do it in one piece anymore. They had to take the engine off separately and then the pylon off, and they couldn't do it with a forklift. They hadn't been following the manufacturer's directions on that. They had been taking it off with a forklift, but when they do, there's some natural torquing in that, and when they put it up, it's not quite level, and you know they're kind of slamming it up into place, and it caused some damage, they think, to that aft mounting point. And so they changed how the maintenance was done to get completely in line with the McDonnell Douglas manuals. And for the rest of the DC-10 and the rest of the MD-11 career, every airline and every operator of the DC-10 and the MD-11 followed those manufacturer's instructions, which for the long term turned out pretty well uh, until this MD-11 crash. It goes on uh, then to say that the FAA then got involved in making sure that maintenance information that was given from the manufacturer was followed by the airlines. And so they were the third entity looking from the outside saying, no, you got to follow these instructions. And they made sure that, that, that the airlines, their feet were held to the fire by all of that. Uh, all of that was good until we get to this MD-11 crash just recently in Louisville. And this airplane, let me reiterate for you, had 21,043 cycles according to the report. That's a lot of cycles, all right? 92,000 hours altogether on the airframe. Uh, visual inspections had been conducted. They, they were all conducted in compliance with airworthiness directives. Remember, the FAA is overseeing this now. The maintenance manuals are being adhered to. The airlines are cooperating with all of that. Everything is working in unison. 